Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Hollow Knight with Sientier, who is me. And last time, we got this by defeating a boss. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, I have no idea where I am now. Uh, my map does not tell me. Ah, okay. So that's a weak spot that I could bust down. I'm just kind of exploring haphazardly. There's actually really no reason to break that. And this feels like money reward for beating the boss. I'm gonna be honest here. Okay, that felt good. I don't think I don't see you there. Hollow Nest Seal. Okay. Oh, here's the Soul Master. Let's read about him. Uh, head of the Soul Sanctum. Hoarded Soul... Ho Hoarded Soul, hoping to stave off Hollow Nest's affliction, but eventually became intoxicated by its power. The bugs of Hollow Nest tried all kinds of tricks and rituals and prayers to aid themselves, to rid themselves of the infection, but to no avail. Perhaps the infection came from somewhere deep inside of them that they could not escape. Hmm. Uh, oh. These fools meddled with the soul of other creatures and lost their shape. Now they skulk through the shadows of their sanctum like slugs, hoping their old brothers will build them new bodies. Fascinating. Uh, is the seal... Nope. It is a relic. Official seal of the kingdom of Hallownest, symbolizing the authority of the king and his knights. Relic from Hallownest's past. This item now holds little value, except for those dedicated to the kingdom's history. Wait, is that? I see you. guys are definitely dangerous. Especially in the vast quantities that they like to appear in. That was nerve-wracking. What's that one up there? Do I have a way up? Not really. Only these clothy bits I can cut down, apparently. Uh, 
Okay, that would let me continue down. Alright, more of you guys. I think I know where this is. Yeah. So the elevator I sent back down for myself. Good. Bulls type game player. Right, this is the place that led to the spot where I needed... Oh, this is where I needed the key. Where's the way to the lift? I can't just go up there. Hmm. This is pretty sweet, but I'm gonna um, grab my reduced casting cost and the compass for the time being on account of navigation. Okay, that's that's right. That's all the way over there. And that requires that key. Can't quite go over there. But let's go back over this way, because there's a the mines up in the Forgotten Crossroads that I can now access that I couldn't access before. And if I go all the way up, I have a shortcut there. Survive the trip up, I should say. Hmm, I can potentially pick up another charm as well when I get to up high enough. Ow. Okay. Technically, I can take this, but I'm just going to take the bench. And then continue up. Actually, over. Continue over. That's what I meant. Clearly. Actually... Uh, this is not relevant to this, but I should have the folly thing. I've heard whispers that the secret these fools were searching for was immortality. To live forever. I have never heard of anything so obscene. Fascinating. All right. Yes. Let's take the gigantic elevator. Okay, so I can head to the left, which is a new area, or I can head to the right. I want to head to the right first, because I want to go visit... Um, 
charms merchant. Now that I can afford a few more. Yeah, just to the right here. Just going to the right. To the right. Yeah, here you are. Uh, yes. Um, sure. Uh, I'm now allowed to purchase this, but I do not have the 500 <laughs> geos in order to do so. Um, okay, let's look at these new charms I just got. Shaman Stone. Uh, what is this? One? Yeah, this one. Okay, so I can uh, increase the power of spells dealing more damage to foes. That is what I would have expected. Um, contains a living core that seeps precious lifeblood. When resting, the bearer will gain a coating of lifeblood that, blood that protects a modest amount of damage. Okay. So this is basically, you wear this, so that way when you sit down, you get bonus health. But you can't just, like, not have it on, because you can only equip stuff while you're sitting down. That's an interesting way of doing it. Is there anything new in here? No, just that guy left. I want to see what that guy is about, honestly. I also want to go over to the left there, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh man, I'm, it's weird, but like, I'm almost, one of the things I'm really looking forward to when I beat this game is watching a speedrun of it because I'm just so curious as to what those look like. That's not a narrow, dangerous corridor at all. Okay. Geronimo! What is down here? Ah. Okay, that gives me a little bit of a shortcut. Uh, it gives me a way out is really what it does. Hello. Okay. Uh, that is a vessel fragment. Fragment of a white vessel made to contain soul. Collect two more to form a full vessel, allowing you to carry more soul. I thought that's what that was for, and it is. Cool. Okay, so this is just a little side area that gives you one of those. I don't know how many are in the game. Um, that certainly feels like a repeatable, collectible thingy, but uh, obviously that's not anything imminent. Um, that's the trolley. That's where I need trolley ticket. I kind of want to just go up to the stagway, go up to the surface, um, and see what that one bug I found in the village was all about. And up this way. Dirt mouth, please. Hey, would you have seen anything? Oh, oh, cool. 
Oh, what a turn. Our shop keeps come home. Just wandered back in. I'd hoped for grand tales of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him. If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. No competition. That's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. And it is. Faring well in your adventures below? Well, I had an adventure of my own while you were gone. I don't usually visit the town's graveyard, but I thought I'd go and visit the grave of an old friend. As I was walking amongst the tombstones, I noticed a strange kind of chanting coming from somewhere nearby. Extremely sinister chanting. I looked around to find the source and saw two bright, horrible eyes staring at me from the door of a dark cave. I pretended I hadn't heard the voice or seen the eyes and scurried back to town. My friend will have to wait a little longer for her visit. Mm. Ah, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. Oh, he sells a mask shard. Um, this little thing, merely a fragment of something larger. Still, maybe you can make some use of it. A piece of a soul vessel. You know, those ghastly-looking orb things. I don't really like the aura about it, but it's quite rare, so I'll have to charge you a high price. A sim simply a simple key. It will fit a variety of locks, which is useful if you like to poke around in places you don't belong. Gathering Swarm. Do you find yourself leaving a lot of geo behind as you hurry through the ca caverns? This charm will make sure that any loose change finds its way back to you. Stalwart Shell. Life in Hellenest can be tough, always taking hits and getting knocked around. This charm grants you more time to recover after taking damage. Useful if you need to escape from a tight spot. So, it increases your um, iframes after being hit. Luma Fly Lantern. What's more important, a light to guide your way or a friend who will stay by your side? Why not both? Take this bright little fellow as your companion and he'll light the way through the thickest darkness. And a rancid egg. I found this under the counter. Some creature must have laid it here while I was stuck down in the ruins. I suppose you could buy it. I won't miss its sour odor. Um, I want this. Uh, and it's kind of a bit goofy, but I might as well purchase this rancid egg. Just in case I want to use it later. Cool. Ah, okay. So he has a number of mask shards he sells. That's cool. Um, well, I went from having basically no uses for money whatsoever to having a all the uses for money lately. So that's a thing that's happened. Uh, speaking of money, I'm going this way because of money. I don't think that one charm makes healing cheaper. But all my other spells make cheaper. It's certainly useful. I will take 80. They're so cute! Whatever, I'm not going down there for that. Like, one Geo. Okay, to the mine. Uh, what's the best way there? The best way there is holding this down and figuring it out. Yeah, just continue to the right. I want to say it was... Was it the top one or the second one? You know what? I can always just check. One of those was like a locked door or darkness or something. And yeah, one of them was darkness. Actually, that the top one was darkness. So I need to go to the bottom one. Would it be quicker to take the stag way and go up? Probably. Yeah, okay. I'm... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the preferred navigational method is, but here we are. Here's what I'm doing. I should keep change on me. I will likely want to spend it. Um, on a map. I think I like my current charms. Compass, long nail. Yeah, this is a pretty good set. I can definitely add stuff that would make me a lot more durable. Um, 
Uh, L is the map button. Okay, so I just need to go up a little bit. Uh, not over there. I need kind of the next one. I think that should be the way to the mine. Geo has suddenly become far more valuable to me. Nope, this was the dark one. Ow, with the random thing falling on me. Okay, well, I'm bad at navigation, apparently. Uh, so this must be the way that led to the... Yeah, here's the mine. Right, that makes sense. Well, there's a bunch of stuff up there, and... Oh, it's Crystal Peak. Yeah, okay, I don't really... I don't currently have a way back up. Okay. Well forward, then. Nope. say about them back slow hardy creature the crystals that grow on its back provide extra protection from foes above ah okay that makes sense we basically have to attack them head on That's just looping. Right. This was the dark area that I noped out of. Yeah, that's the dark area I noped out of. Not the friendly one. Husk Miner. Remains of a bug drawn to the crystal peak for its precious crystals. Its claw pick now doubles as a fierce weapon. Yes, it does. You are observant, game. they just have a lot of picks because they cost them. I 
I'm just kind of looking for a good spot to stop, by the way, at this point, for anyone who might be wondering. Just kind of keep going. I see you, little friend. I cannot get you, though. Ow. Ow. That could have ended better. Never mind that place. Uh... Aha! A bench. We're going to end the episode here. So until next time, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.